Yeah, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This letter coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Okay, here we go. Part number three. Part number three of my disassemble and modify, polish, sand, polish, and reassemble video of the, the Tonto and the and the Mackinac Hunter. The Mackinac Hunter is put away now. All done with that one. Now we got this one to put together. All right, here we go. Tonto, code four. This one's really easy, didn't? Because I didn't really disassemble it too far. Put a little squirt of oil in here since we have it apart. It already has some grease in it. Always remember, tough line against the against the blade. In bronze against the. Scale or the frame. Oh, there we go. Skipping here, getting hit of myself. Looking good there. A little bit of loop. Clean it all out since I got all the part. Thank you. 
Okay, now that I got all the screws in, I'm going to tighten everything up. These should already be tight. There they are. Just this. Let's close it and see where the blade's lining up at. Let you see what this one looks like now. Shine it up for you. See how much nicer that looks though when you do the backspacer and you polish your lock bar? It gives it more of a finished look if you ask me. Like make 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 look like the way Coke Seal should have did it from the get-go. I think it looks the best like this. It looks totally finished. And you need the size of the blade alone sides of the blade and the edge, just like I did on the Mackinac Hunter. This one was done the exact same way. Very nice. All right, people. Well, that's it for today. Walk you through the complete process of what I do with these things. We didn't do sharpening, though. These are already sharpened. These have the factory edge on them. I leave the factory edge on them until I wear out the factory edge. These look absolutely beautiful, like pieces of jewelry. Once you once you do it, add, that, add that little bit of touch to them. I love the way they look. These are some really awesome knives. The Cove Four, the Mackinac, all the G10 versions. I like them all. I like the Griveries too, even though I don't really carry the Grivery models too much no more because I sort of moved on to the G10s and. I like this one because there's certain, sometimes I wear certain kinds of pants that the G10 G10 um, versions don't work that well with if you're using the pocket clip. They eat up the pants. So that's what I like this one for. This one takes the place of why I can't use the G10 one. But the drawback to this one is that the handle's slippery. Just like the Mackinac, Mackinac Hunter. The handle's a little bit on the slippery side. So, this is not my first choice for a tactical purpose knife. It's more my first, one of my choices for an EDC knife. A utility EDC knife, slash self-defense if need be, but it would be my first choice for self-defense. First choice for self-defense, I like the, um, the grip, the, I mean not the grip X, but the um, G10 models. Because I like the grip that they give you. And the handles are awesome. The handle on this one's awesome too though. It's just that the grip is not as good. But this handle shape is an awesome handle shape. It's just like the Recon one. It's a lot like the Lawman, and it's a lot like the Mackinac. All three of them are very similar in the shape of the handle. And it's a handle that I really like. It's really comfortable in my hand. It works really good for me. And that's the reason why these are my favorite lineups. Let me show you all three of them together now. Since I've got them all done here. Here's that one. 
And I get three different blade types too. I get a spear point. Spear point. A bowie. Maybe we should do them like this, huh? I was not going to show you that. I'll figure it out. And a lawman. And it's, it's more of a spear point. That's what I'm calling a spear point. And these are my favorite three and a half inches that cold steel makes. I have a, um, another one I like too. I like the AK-47. That's another one I like. But these are my favorites for EDC and utility. I haven't used this one yet, but I've been using this one for a while. And been using this one for a while. But I know I'm going to like this one. I don't, I don't see, there's nothing not to like about it. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but that's kind of cool though because you're getting a solid, you know, a real, a two, almost a two and a half millimeter thick um, stainless steel handle. The slabs are two and a half, two point three millimeters or two point four millimeters thick, and they're all polished out and finished up really nicely. I, I don't have nothing bad to say about this knife. The only thing I don't like, well, I do have something bad, is that the scales. I don't like the scales. Cold steel, change these scales. Put some decent scales on this thing, man. It's a really nice knife when you put these cheap ass looking scales on them. That's <laughs> a really nice knife. It feels really good in hand. It's nice and heavy. Like I said, it feels like a buck knife. If you like buck knives in the old class of American, American folders, this one is for you. If you need, if you like having a steel frame instead of a, um, aluminum frame or, or G10 frame, this one is for you. If you like to modify knives and rebuild them and make them into your own preferences, this one is for you. This is a great, this is a great platform to work from. This one is for like if, if you like G10 models, but sometimes you have, you're wearing things that the G10 will eat up if you're using a pocket clip. This one is for you. <laughs> and I like this one because I, li I like the Tonto blade. So this is my Tonto blade for three and a half inch. My Bowie blade for three and a half inch. I like the best. And my Spear Point blade for three and a half inch. This one right here, though, I must admit, is a hands down favorite of all three of these. I love this blade. This is one of the best utility EDC knives. And when they make this in a little bit better steel, I'll, I'll be jumping on it. When they come up with XHP on this one, I'll be jumping on it. Because this is one that I actually do use the most for utility purposes. I carry this, I carry these a lot. I have three of these. I really like them. I have two of these. And only, this is my first one I've gotten of these. I'll probably get another one just to be a collector. That's what I usually end up doing. That's why I have two of these. One's a collector and one's a user. I'd like to have a collector of these, this one now too, because since I've already modified, it's no longer a collector to me. It's a modified knife. Collectors need to be totally like they came from the factory, like they came from the maker. This one, I, I bought it to be a user. I didn't know if I was going to use this one or the Lone Stars between the two of them. I knew I was going to collect one and, and use the other. And this is the one I decided to use. Why? Because I like the handle. If you notice, like all these handles, are very similar in shape. Even the recon, even the recons had the same type of handle. To me, all these handles are very similar. And this is a handle that I really like. This handle shape, cold steel, keep making it. It's a really good handle shape. It's good because it's like, it fits your hand really well. That's the best way I can explain it. It, just fit, it fits my hand perfectly. If I need to do cutting tasks or something like that, so it's a real comfortable knife to do it with. I like this one because you could choke up on it. This would be another nice feature of cold steel if you can add, add this to some of, 
some of your other models is a, is a, is a finger groove, finger troil on the front. That's, that's the reason why I like this one the best for EDC. And I just love Tontos. I've always, Tontos are some of my favorite blade shapes. Well, I like them. Let's see, you can see all these. Let me close the blades so I don't cut myself. I just want to show you the. All these have finished aluminum pieces, spacers. And that's what they look like when you polish them out. I really like them like that. Like I said, these are my personal knives. So I set them up the way I like them. And this is the way I like them. These are the ones I carry, everyday carry. That's those fellas, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed part three. Peace. Y'all have a great day.